Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Uh, this, uh, this Monday morning I spent a few hours cleaning up the, uh, the swarf and the mess from the weekend and the, uh, part of last week. Um, and then uh, showered up and uh, hit, the, hit the road again here. Uh, half an hour into the work I got a, um, a call from a client. They've got a, um, um, got a, a, a tool that belongs to part of a printing press. Uh, I think it's for hot glue or whatever. Anyway, they need it urgently repaired so they can send it off to Melbourne, which is on the eastern seaboard. Um, and it's got to go tonight. So they brought that in and uh, was still very, very hot. And because the shape of it, uh, it's, there's, no, there's no flat areas to grasp it over, uh, to be able to manoeuvre it into the position to get down into the bolts. So what I did was I took off the end plates um, that were on that, uh, on that tool after it had cooled down and I set them, I've set it up in the mill here in the free vices. Uh, by using the mill free vices, it allowed me to grab it from the outside and rotate it until I got it to the position where I was at 90 degrees, um, the, the flat area was 90 degrees to the quill. Um, I'll demonstrate that. Um, you can see here that I've, it's in, in between two the, the two uh, free vices, a bit, um, bit of brass stock on the here, to, so I won't mark that because that's a, 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 a surface that's used for sealing. Um, it's got all the, ele the electrics, uh, solenoid valves and everything else. At any rate, I'll just come in a bit closer there, maybe shift it that way, Let's see if there. So what we have here is two, two broken bolts. And what I opted to do, and what I normally do, is I first of all I want to produce a flat area on the top to be able to see the uh, see if I can get as close as I can to the center of the of the bolt. I then so I used a carbide a carbide mill. Uh, let's go back out a bit further. A little carbide mill. I milled I milled the top flat. I then took a center. A centre drill and drill the centre drill in it. Now what we're doing today is we're also doing a dust off on these tools. They're made by Worth or they're sold by Worth. Um, they are stubby left hand drill bits. I'll turn it around so you can see the other parts of it here. Hopefully that's pretty clear. Um, and so yeah, it's all the all the details in here. It's uh, Worth is a worldwide country. This is called zebra quality. Not, not sure about that. Right? Must wear safety glasses. And um, so that's a packet of five, all up. And I took the second one, which is about six mil, I think. Maybe five mil, six mil, four point eight. So the second one, second one is four point eight mil, and that's the one I've used. So we'll now demonstrate getting the second one out. So uh, we've, we're on song, we're in position, we've cleaned the top, we've made a centre point, and now we're going to see if the left hand drill will pull this one out as easily as it pulled out and pulled the previous one. We're running about 162 RPM. Well, there you go, job done. Uh, yep, those, those drills were okay. Uh, you would have noticed that it moved a bit. I didn't want to tighten it too tight in, in, uh, in the, um, between the jaws and there's not a lot of contact surface. But the main thing is that the job's done. Studs are out and uh, we can now just clean this up and call the client and ask him to come and take it away so he can do what he has to do with it. Thanks for, thanks for watching.